Just like we discussed with respect to diversity jurisdiction, there are two bases for federal question jurisdiction, constitutional and statutory. The Constitution sets forth the broadest grant of federal question jurisdiction to the federal courts, and then Congress has the power to limit that jurisdiction as it sees fit through statutory enactments. Article 3, Section 2, Clause 1 of the Constitution sets forth the foundation of federal question jurisdiction, and it provides that, quote, the federal judicial power shall extend to all cases in law and equity arising under this Constitution, the laws of the United States and treaties made, or which shall be made under their authority. In sum, this part of the Constitution provides that the federal courts have jurisdiction over all cases arising under federal law. Hence the reason we call this type of jurisdiction federal question jurisdiction, because the matter to be decided is a question or issue of federal law. The Supreme Court has interpreted the arising under language of Article 3, Section 2, Clause 1 to be very broad, extending to any case where either the plaintiff or the defendant raises a legal issue that the court must refer to federal law in order to decide. For example, the plaintiff may bring a cause of action that is created by federal law, or the defendant may defend against plaintiff's non-federal claim by raising an issue of federal law such as the First Amendment challenge to a defamation suit that supposedly unduly impinges on freedom of speech. 